This is a patient referred in from a distance who had cataract surgery uh, the previous year with a panoptic toric lens. She's never been happy with the quality of vision in this eye. Uh, it's a uh, very small eye with a 21.5 millimeter axial length. The pupil dilates poorly. Uh, the lens is decentered uh, within the capsule bag about one to two millimeters. Uh, and there is significant capsular phimosis, uh, making extraction of the lens difficult. Uh, we do want to exchange this for a monofocal toric lens. So here we've placed uh, iris attractors to better dilate the pupil. We've marked the uh, axis of the lens uh, at 90 degrees. Um, and uh, we're trying to reopen the capsular bag using a LASIK cannula. And we can see that the uh, zonules are pretty weak here and the lens is pretty socked in. Uh, we start with dispersive viscoelastic and then switch to cohesive viscoelastic once the uh, anterior capsule is separated from the optic. And now we're just uh, trying to visco-dissect the uh, bag open and get the uh, lay of the land here, so to speak. Uh, once uh, this is achieved, I'm going to advance the iris retractors from the iris edge to the anterior capsule edge. And this will help stabilize the capsular bag as I do my manipulations. So here I'm going to advance the iris retractors I placed uh, from the iris edge o over the anterior capsule opening. And this will uh, stabilize this and stretch it a bit to give me better access to the uh, lens optic. So here we're going to stretch the anterior capsule a bit. And now I'm going to use a micro-grasper and grab the uh, haptic-optic junction and try to free up the haptic, uh, which is uh, fibrosed at the terminal bulb. Here you can see I'm sweeping this fibrosis off, and the zonules are very weak in this area, so I have to be very careful. Uh, once this side is freed up, I'm going to go ahead and free up the other side uh, and make sure that the lens uh, rotates and is freed up uh, without any adhesions. Uh, and here we're able to now elevate this haptic up out of the uh, capsule bag over the anterior capsule rim where I can uh, gain access to the lens and uh, do what I need to with it. Um, I'm now going to remove these uh, iris retractors from the anterior capsule edge uh, to give me a better freedom uh, to manipulate the lens without worrying about damaging the anterior capsule. I'll place a little viscoelastic under the uh, lens to push the posterior capsule back and create some space. Again, this is a small eye with a small anterior chamber. Uh, I'm going to hold the lens and cut the lens in half within the capsular bag, being careful not to damage the anterior or posterior capsule. And you'll see me turning the scissors sideways a little bit as I do this. Uh, now that the lens is cut in half, it'll be relatively easy to bring it up out of this small anterior capsule opening and take it out through the uh, main incision. There's the first half of the lens and now the uh, second half of the lens comes out uh, very easily. Um, the zonules are weak here so we're going to place a capsule tension ring to provide a better uh, structural support to the capsular bag and to equilibrate the uh, zonular support. This will uh, expand the uh, equator of the bag and make sure there's no, no fibrosis inhibiting putting the uh, new lens on the proper axis. Uh, we're going to inject the new lens into the capsule bag and rotate this into the uh, correct position uh, where the uh, marks have previously been placed at 90 degrees. The lens uh, centers very nicely and the haptics uh, open up fully. Uh, we're going to uh, remove the viscoelastic and uh, test the uh, support and uh, stability of the lens which is uh, quite good. Um, once the uh, viscoelastic is removed, uh, I did use a uh, suture here, not because the wound wasn't self-sealing but to uh, control astigmatism. I did not want to uh, add more with the rule of stigmatism here, so we put this uh, suture uh, to uh, stabilize the wound. Uh, we'll tie this uh, and bury the knot. Remove the uh, iris retractors. 
and uh, create a uh, physiologic pressure uh, within the anterior chamber and the case is completed. Thank you for your attention.